क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's video we are going to see what do you mean by bjt its construction and its symbol so let's begin with the topic we know that a semiconducting material are of two types that means p type and n type if these two semiconducting material are combined together they perform a many functions or they provide many devices we cannot use the semiconductor material separately but when they combine they forms a device or p n junction that is nothing but diode which can be used as a rectifier which can be used as a clippers clampers and many more applications another important application of p n junction is nothing but bipolar junction transistor that is nothing but bjt as its name indicates bipolar that is it uses both electrons as well as hole for carrying the current that's why it is called as bipolar junction that means it consists of two junctions je and jc emitter based junction and collector based junction now bjt is basically a three terminal device which are nothing but emitter base and collector bjt is a current control device that means the output current voltage and power of bjt can be controlled by the input current that's why it is called as current control device bjt having many applications in the electronic system for example if we consider a communication system then in many of the communication system we require amplifiers and that amplifiers uses transistor or bjt amplification is nothing but process of increasing strength of the weak signal so in communication system if the received signal is weak then we need to amplify it so that we can get the proper output so in case of amplification transistors are used another application of transistor is nothing but it is used in the digital electronic circuit as a electronic switch so that it can operate in on state and off state therefore bjt having number of application in electronic circuit or we can say the main building block of all the electronic circuit is nothing but the transistor that is bjt now let's moving towards the construction of bjt as we know it consists of two types of semiconducting material that is p and n type semiconducting material the construction of bjt is like one of the semiconducting material is sandwiched between two other types of semiconducting material so based on the construction there are two types of bjt pnp and npn in case of pnp transistor n type of semiconducting material is sandwiched between two type of semiconducting material whereas in case of npn transistor p type of semiconducting material is sandwiched between two n type of semiconducting material now let's move towards the construction and the terminals of bjt as we know based on the construction there are two types of bjt npn and pnp the bjt is three terminal device that means it consists of emitter base and collector now let's see each of transistor one by one so let's have a look of npn transistor in case of npn transistor p type semiconducting material is present in between two n type semiconducting material and it has a three terminal emitter base and collector emitter terminal as its name indicates it emits the electrons and it is present on one side of transistor the emitter region is heavily doped region now moving towards the next terminal that is nothing but base terminal it is present in between two semiconducting material and it is thin as compared to emitter and collector the base terminal or base region is basically a lightly doped region now move towards a collector collector as its name indicate it collects the electrons and holes from emitter region it is present on opposite side of the transistor that means opposite side of emitter the size of collector is larger as compared to base and emitter but its doping level is intermediate that means it is in between highly doped emitter and lightly doped collector so this is how the construction of npn and pnp transistor in case of pnp transistor the n type semiconducting material is present between two p type semiconducting material now both npn as well as pnp transistor consist of two junctions that is nothing but je and jc je is nothing but junction between emitter and base whereas jc is nothing but junction between collector and base 
So this is what a construction of NPN transistor and this is construction of PNP transistor where N type is sandwiched between two P type semiconducting material. Now let's move towards symbol of BJT. The NPN and PNP transistor are exactly opposite to each other or we can say NPN is complement of PNP. So the symbol is different with the direction of arrowhead. As we can see NPN can indicate never points in. That means the arrowhead always point in the outward direction to the emitter terminal. The arrowhead present on the BJT symbol indicates the direction of conventional current flow. So in case of NPN transistor, the direction of current flow is from base to emitter. Whereas in case of PNP, as its name indicates, point in permanently, it always point towards the base. That means the current flow from emitter to base. So this is how symbolically also the PNP and NPN transistor are opposite to each other. So this is what about the construction symbol and small introduction of transistors that is nothing but bipolar junction transistor which have many applications in the electronic circuit. I hope you understand the basic of transistor. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.